Hello and welcome to Malware Analysis for Hedgehogs. This week we will be unpacking a Shockwave flash file and um, I don't want to make another 30 minute video. Um, I think that's that's way too long and it's well we have a multiple layered um, flash malware here but I won't be unpacking all layers uh, because the principle is the same for all of them. So just to keep it a bit shorter than than the last time. All right, so what do we have here? That's our flash file and um, we will be unpacking it just using the hex editor. But first, let's take a look at it using static analysis. For that, we have a decompiler that's a um, free flash decompiler. I will put the download link below. All right, and we open our flash file here. Flash malware was quite popular for a while and now it's more rare, but it's still in the wild. Um, the free flash decompiler will show you yeah, basically everything you need. Um, the header data, any binary data, um, any animations that are in the file, um, but also sounds. You can also play them and you can also play the animations if there are any. In this case, nothing. Uh, meter data, of course. And for us, the most important uh, part is the scripts, which is um, the flash code, the flash action script code that gets executed. And if you know any um, object-oriented program programming language, it shouldn't be a problem to read this. So if you know C Sharp or Java, it's basically similar from just looking at it. Um, this file is obfuscated. We see that the names of the functions are, well, they, they are not very telling. They don't tell what, what they mean. But here, this is interesting. This looks like there's also some some obfuscation done. Um, now, it calls this RETE method, and this method um, calls replace on on this function. Where is it? It's here. Ah, this is um, this is the regex, and the regex searches for either uh, for one of those three characters, and we have the replace on one of these three characters with nothing. So if you look at these, um, you basically just have to delete all of these characters that are in the regex to to get something that makes sense. Um, I guess the author of this file doesn't like AV or companies. <laughs> um, yeah, but something, it's something you might find uh, lots of times that, um, yeah, you have bad messages for the AV um, companies. So, okay, um, if you want to see or deobfuscate this, and then it's basically enough to use a hex editor. And that's the flash action script. All right. And we might want to do this as well. So I copied it all here in one file. And we will use the regex right in here. Where was it? This. This is the regex. And Notepad++ also has the option to use regular expressions. And we can now do the same. We can just replace everything in that regular expression with nothing. So I say replace all, but maybe only on that part. Can I change that? Um, 
I, I just want to do it on this uh, part of the file. So, okay, replace all. Oh, and now it makes much more sense what we have here. Oh no, normal. Yes. And... Ah, right. Um, this uh, has to be replaced with... Right. Replaced with... Right. This has to be replaced with add. And this has to be replaced with event listener. Okay. Now it looks better. So, just some leftovers here. Um, okay. I think this looks good. Now, uh, these local um, variables are assigned um, to this and so let's check this this is how it looks like now no, not that safe um, so basically we did what, what this function is doing we can actually remove it um, mm -hmm. and that's all, all that's left. Now, this is used throughout the file. It's like, it's a, the, the replacement for these functions. So, let's say the function or method charcoal add um, is basically this variable. So, and it's used here so you don't know what it actually means. And for that you have to replace these with uh, the strings in here. So position and two is length and three is Right byte for charcoal add and the on and so on. Add. Um, I won't do everything here. Um, I think it's it's just too boring if I do this. You can do this at home. Uh, doing it this way will basically replace all of the functions down here as well with uh, with these. So you can finally read what this code is actually doing and uh, you will see that this is not only obfuscated but also packed um, and, um, basically it, it reads some bytes and then uses load bytes to dynamically uh, execute the flash file that's uh, packed in there so it's uh, also packed and unpacking this Statically can be a pain. Well, you can do this, of course, uh, but we will be using dynamic unpacking, manual unpacking today, and um, that means. Well, well, let's name it correctly. Uh, okay, well, um, that means we will just open the file in Internet Explorer, allow it to run. Yes, and now our file is running in here and open up a hex editor that is able to read the memory, for instance, HXD. This has uh, the open RAM button and now you can choose uh, one of those ixpro.exe processes 
so you can um, you can read the okay that's a uh, memory it shows here and you want to look for a uh, search for the beginning of a the, the magic the magic bytes of a flash file and that's in this case this okay and then you check that well you you might not be able to do that now if you are not familiar with flash files so but uh, basically you look for this string and you should do it oh case sensitive let's yeah check the case sensitive button um, and then check out if this looks like like a flash header to you that if this makes any sense so usually you will have some strings here um, and uh, yeah this the range of the values in here should make sense so um, check out the specification of flash files look at some flash files if you are not familiar with them so you get a feeling uh, for them and if you have no idea just uh, try to try to unpack every flash uh, or FWS um, you find and then you will see if it works or not so all right the fourth well here's this is the start of it and at the fourth byte you have the size of the flash file now you can be lazy and you can dump this file j merrily by uh, using a size uh, copying a size that's uh, probably bigger than your actual flash file that will work but y uh, if you want to do it the proper way you can read the size here and that's a little endian format so you need to calculate the actual size um, little any means you reverse the order of these so it's uh, 0 7 and then it's a e2 so 7 do we have this scientific bro yeah okay let's cock and it's 7 e2 and that's this is the size and that's some more values so let's select the block it will co uh, correctly select the first part of it and then we will wa we want the length i'm not sure if this is hex oh yeah it's hex here it says so so we can just say um that's our length and now we copy and paste this to another file and that's our dump of this flash file and you do the same for every other fws uh, you find in in this area of the memory okay that's our first unpacked unpacked one and we let's just take a look at this with free flash decompiler I can't tell you if that's already our file so okay this looks quite good yeah maybe but you see we we unpacked something um that could be the packed file and yeah that's already it uh, i recommend that you do the same for every other file you find in here let's check this out the next match is here that also looks like it makes sense uh to to dump this and the next match is here that doesn't look reasonable i'm not sure 
if you're not sure, just dump it as well. Um, that doesn't look reasonable, but that does. Um, I would also dump this. And mm, not sure about this one. But these are probably no flash files here. Uh, this one. This one also makes sense. So, okay. So that's all there is. Um, it's really simple. Just opening the hex editor, looking for FWS, um, using the size to cut out that block and then check it in the deep compiler and that way you will unpack every packed flash file in a flash file. And that's it uh, for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions please post them below and I hope to see you next week again. <laughs> have a nice evening! <laughs>